is your favorite teacher of all time? Do you, and do you employ any of their strategies in class? Class. Oh, well, my favorite teacher of all time is my yoga teacher. Nice. Do, and I do implement her strategies in class, even though I'm not teaching yoga, but what she teaches us is so useful, interesting, unique, that I'm using sometimes her words, her phrases, right in the classroom. When she, for example, says, um, look for the action in in your uh, in your action so look for for something that is going on in that particular action so give details for example give me more details about the character so you want to look at the action of a character and then give detail why the character did that so the action within the action which makes which makes your writing more creative more interesting to read um, other things like discipline as far as you know following your uh following the agenda schedule mm. whatever she she teaches us are you are you are you doing that right now are you taking those yoga classes right now yeah awesome how yeah. long have you been doing that though oh i've been doing this for 17 years Oh my God, really? Yeah. You could you could teach I yoga taught, probably. Oh yeah, I taught yoga for four years. Oh. In, it was a private uh, a school. Well, private school. Ruben, it was oh. Viva. Yeah, I it's a uh, non, non-public uh, school, Aviva. Yeah. Oh, and, and you taught met, yoga there? Yes. Yeah, that's where I met oh. Susanna. Mm-hmm. And so in your classes now, besides the information that you just shared right now, do you ever, ever actually get the kids to get physical and they're able to jump around yes, we're doing and it's Iyengar yoga it's kind of like a hatha yoga it's pretty difficult to do so you need a lot of stamina and discipline and I just know from my teacher I learned it from her how to work how 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 can I work it to the best so yeah not right now not teaching yoga but I used to teach at Aviva high school for about oh, three God. years but a lot of things that I learned from my teacher, I can implement in everyday classroom that I'm teaching. So, yeah. Oh, that's great. Would you say a, a, a variation or a um, kind of, I guess, a variation of that concept or a, a notion out of that concept would be to what, like, if I'm, if I'm a teacher, because you said, look for the action in your action. Is that, is that what you said, right? Yeah, I think maybe yeah. I, I need to uh, paraphrase it, but any activity, anything you do has little actions to it, even yes. though it seems like, yeah. Would you say that, so like if I'm going into my classroom and I have a lesson plan that I want to, stre- I have a strategy for the class, but but maybe I have to ask myself, what is the result what do, what do I want my students to do? What, what is what is it that I'm teach? So I I think a lot of times I think what am I going to teach today? But maybe a better question is, what am I? What is going to be the result of what I teach? Maybe that another way of saying it is how you're saying it is. What is the action of what you're doing? What's going to come out of it? Would you say that that's and a fair way? Sometimes, Ruben. Yeah. Sometimes actually you have to unteach something. So because like undo something. Oh, yeah. So that's that's also that's teaching. So the kids come with, let's say you're gonna uh, read a novel, you're starting a novel, and the novel is about relationship. They already have ready set up like kind of formulas how the relationship goes. So before you start teaching something new, you have to unteach, undo what they already know. So so they could start absorbing new information Mm. right so probably one action one thing number one would be to unteach to undo what they already have like yeah you you know what i you you know what i've done for the first time so i i I teach a i teach a scary story right how to write a story but i do it during halloween and they write scary stories for the first time and i've been doing this since aviva so i've been doing this for 15 years, this is the first year I show them a poor example of a story. 
but I, I gave like a paragraph. I go, don't write this. This is, and then I gave a better, ex- I, I did, don't do this, try this. Oh, good. And my, my paraprofessional who was, who was watching me teach that, and she's seen me teach this lesson before. She, she was so, she, later she came up to me, she said, I saw a kid bring up his story and started deleting things. She delete, he deleted two whole paragraphs because he saw it was wrong and he started rewriting. She goes, what you did was really strong, but I'm not trying to pat myself on the back. This is after years of my mistakes (laughs) of, of just giving what to do and not what not to do. Well, you just mentioned Susanna of you have to unteach or they have to unlearn certain practices. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. I so think uh, the whole thing of, of having kids see you go up there and do, even if it's like you shared, Ruben, a piece that's not incorrect, um, modeling is just such the best thing. And even this incorrect modeling, reteaching, um, that's, stick, that's just like that young man sticks to his hip brain. You know, it's going to stay longer. And so uh, great, great teaching uh, strategy. Thank you, Susanna. Um, but I will say that you won't get this guy in a yoga outfit and um stretching. oh that's too bad uh, i don't want to embarrass myself hmm. Wait. Hmm. thank you for coming on susanna thank, thank you. you and yoga is for, for everybody so don't say that thank <laughs> you even men even men oh ruben after we read that book and you still talk this way why why <laughs> why thank you for coming on susanna and we thank will see you everybody next time. you're welcome bye-bye thank you so much bye-bye